Hello guys, welcome to Engineers Academy. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that a train consists of a 50 megagram engine and three cars having mass of 30 megagram. If it takes 80 seconds for the train to increase its speed uniformly to 40 km per hour, so the time it takes is 80 second and velocity, let's say that is V2, is 40 km per hour starting from rest. So the initial velocity is 0. Let me write that V1 is 0 meter per second. Let me convert this into meter per second as well. So this is 1 kilometer is 1000 meters multiplied by 1 hour is 3600 seconds. So this hour will cancel out and kilometer will cancel out. So we'll be left with meter per second. So that is 40 into 40 into 1000 divided by 3600. So this is 11.11 v2 is 11.11 meter per second. And it is said that determine the force T developed at the coupling between the engine E and the first car A. So this is engine E and this is the first car A. So we have to find the tension here in the coupling. And then it is said that the wheels of the engine provide a resultant frictional tractive force F which gives the train forward motion whereas the car wheels roll freely. Also determine this force F acting on the engine wheels. So we have to find this F. So to find this F, we have to consider this whole in, this whole system along with the engine. So we need to apply the uh, principle of impulse and momentum for this whole system. Let me write that we are considering whole system or we can say that along the engine E. So for that, uh, if I write the principle of impulse and momentum, so that will be M V1. And remember that we are considering this in the horizontal direction. This is this is our positive direction. So this is m v1 plus the summation of the impulses due to the external forces from zero to uh, eighty seconds. This is given, and that will be equal to the final momentum. That is m v2. Now the initial velocity is 0, so this term will become 0. And if we consider this whole system, so the only external force is that F force, uh, that is the force, the tractive force, the resultant frictional tractive force, which gives the train forward motion. So that is F, and, if, and that F is constant. So since it is said that uh, it, is it is moving with a uniform speed, so the the force F is constant. So if this force F is constant, we can write this outside of integration like this, dt, and this is from 0 to 80. So this will be, if we integrate this, so this will be t. Let me write this equation first with so the mass of the whole system. So the mass of the whole system, the mass of the engine is 50 megagrams, so that is 50 plus these three um, cars have a mass of 30 megagrams. So this is 3 times 30. And the units are in megagrams, so we want to convert it into kgs. So if we multiply this with 10 raised to the power 3, so this will become kgs, right? Since uh, 50 mega is 10 raised to the power 6 grams. So if we want to convert it into kgs, then 1 kg is 10 raised to the power 3 grams. So 10 raised to the power 6 divided by 10 raised to the power 3. So this will give us 10 raised to the power 3. So that will be 50 into 10 raised to the power 3 kgs. So mega is 10 raised to the power 3 into kgs, right? So we convert it into this kgs. And then we multiply it with V2 in meter per second. So this is 11.11. And now if I integrate this, so this will be equal to F, which we want to find. And this integration will be T. So this d will cancel out with integration, so we will be left with t, and this is from 0 to 80. And now if I put limits, so this will be 80 uh, minus 0, this will be 80 minus 0, or we can say that 80 minus 0 is 80, so this is 50 into 80. And if, if I divide, this will be 50 plus 
50 plus 3 into 30 is 90. This is 140. Let me write this as 140 into 10 raised to the power 3 into 11.11 divided by 80. So this will give us that force F which is required. This is 140 into 10 raised to the power 3 into 11.11 divided by 80. That F is uh, 19,443 Newton or we can say that this is 19.44 kilonewton. Now if you want to find the, the tension T, the force T developed at the coupling, right? So here we want to find that T. So we need to consider these three cars only and we have to draw that T. So this is the T which is uh, developed in the coupling which is required. So now again we need to consider the uh, principle of impulse and momentum for these three cars. Now without the engine, right? So for three cars only. So this will be again uh, the initial momentum of this system now plus the summation of the impulses due to the external forces. Uh, from 0 to 80 seconds and this will be equal to the final momentum that is equal to the final momentum. Now again the these three cars also starts from rest so this is 0 and now the external force is this T so we will write T and that T is constant as well since the force is constant so that T will also be constant. So now we can write that the external force is T so T dt from 0 to 80 and this is the mass. So now the mass is 3 times 30. Now one car has a mass of 30 megagrams. So we have three cars. So this is three. Now, now the engine is not there. So if the engine is not there, we are not going to add uh, the mass of the engine. So this is only the weights of the cars, right? So this is, uh, so this is 3 times 30. We are not going to consider the mass of the engine. So this is 3 into 30 into V2. V2 will remain the same, which is 11.11. So I will multiply it with 11.11 and now if I integrate this, so this will be, since T is constant, so we can write it as this will be T into T from 0 to 80 and if I put these limits, so it will be 80 minus 0, so this means that this is T into 80. So now we want to find that, ten, that uh, T in the coupling, so that T is 30 into, uh, and this is, this is mega, so we have to multiply it with 10 raised to the power 3 into that V2 which is 11.11. So this is 90, 90 into 10 raised to the power 3 into 11.11 and divided by that 80. So now when we solve this, this is 90 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 3 multiplied by 11.11 divided by 80. So this gives us uh, 12,499 approximately, 12,499 Newton or we can say that this is approximately 12.5 kilo Newton. So this is that tension T which is developed in the coupling between the engine and this car A. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy if you haven't done it yet. Also let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning.